I think it's important that tenants are on that board for when we bring that lived experience, when we bring, we bring the knowledge of what it's like to actually receive services. There's a difference between staff saying, OK, we'll deliver this this way, but is it the best way? And that perspective is un unique on the board because not everybody has it. And without that tenant voice, you know, important decisions could be made without that crucial knowledge, which could have unintended consequences. So that part you bring. At no point did I ever even think that I was going to possibly have the skills or any qualifications to become a board member. And I was like, what, me on the board? For the first couple of meetings, it was a bit nerve wracking, you know, um, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know all the speak and the jargon, but to be honest, everyone was so welcoming. And after a while, you actually get to understand. It is a commitment. It helps that it's interesting. It helps that it's something that I live in. So you need to dedicate time to read those papers. You're always welcome to ask questions if there's something you don't understand ask the question and somebody will actually, you know, let you know what it is. You know, I have caring responsibilities, I have a young granddaughter, so, you know, and I work full time. You can fit that time into your schedule, so it can work around you and your commitments. Having the ability to do remote, sort of through a laptop, is brilliant. It's just like being in the room. Uh, you can still ask any questions that you have, but you're in the comfort of your own home. It took me a time to grow into the role, but it is so rewarding. I keep saying I'm going to resign, but I don't. I love it too much. The advice I would give to any tenant who's considering becoming a board member is come and talk to us. <laughs>